Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. We're here today to look into the growth effects of plants. Uh, in particular, the growth effects of plants in electromagnetic interference fields. Uh, I have three plants here. They all look quite different. But the really interesting thing is they are all the identical species of plant. Now, this is how they should look. This plant I bought last week and it has yet to change its growth in my house. So this is, this is the way the other two plants used to look. Very large patterned leaves and uh, very thick growth and very thick stalks on the plant. So this one, this is the most changed out of the three plants. And as you can see, it's almost unrecognizable to the one behind it. Very, very stalky growth and uh, very shiny green leaves without any of the patterning that it originally had. So, you know, this is almost like a different species of plant. And this effect was very extensively documented by Dr. John Nash Ott in his books about radiation and uh, electromagnetic interference and uh, he documented this back in the 1950s this effect he extensively studied it so the effect is not new it's a very well known effect so the other plant that we have is over here and uh, the interesting thing about this plant is that it's somewhere halfway between the two that we just looked at and it's still got some of the patterning but the leaves are actually about half the size and you know you can see that lower down the leaves look much more like the other plant that's been grown in a high electromagnetic field and it's very stalky very long stems very thin stems going up and uh, this particular plant, I have it down to one of two sources for the electromagnetic interference field. And one is behind a picture in the other room is a Wi-Fi unit. And uh, it's possible that the Wi-Fi changed this plant growth. Wi-Fi is known to cause pl plant growth defects. And the other thing that I've got it down to is an AC voltage field, which this part of the house has a very high AC voltage field. So it may well have been the AC voltage that changed this plant growth. And for this one, I have it down to a digital television that was broadcasting AM radio frequencies that I could pick up on a standard AM radio tuned to static. And it was particularly detectable around the plant pot base. So it's really uh, changed the growth on this plant. So I'm going to show you those uh, AC voltage fields that are in this part of the house. We have a voltmeter. It's grounded all the way back to the power strip. And we, we just have a, a value reading on there right now. So I'm going to ground that, show you it goes to zero. There we go. And we're reading uh, volts. So the display right now, when I touch my finger to it, it's actually reading 600 millivolts, roughly. So it's my body voltage and I am actually insulated from the ground right now. And when you do these tests, you should actually make sure that you have shoes on that don't conduct to the ground so you can get accurate readings. So the thing I've noticed is in this part of the house, as I reach forward, the field increases. So over here, near the plants, I have almost 900 millivolts. So the interesting thing is, is if I actually touch the plant and hold the stem, it actually goes to 1.3 volts. So it's actually increased significantly. And uh, I noticed this whole area was quite electromagnetic and one of the things I actually got it down to is one of the sources of this electromagnetic radiation that is in this area, in particular the 60 hertz AC voltage, is this lamp stand. 
as you can see the switch is on the top of this lamp stand and we have it plugged into this power switch so because the switch is on top it means that the cable running all the way from the base up to the top is actually energized even though the lamp is not switched on and this causes an interesting effect as you can see I've just put the probe into my fingers and we've got two volts AC so I'm actually going to put my hand over here and hold on to the shaft and we can see that we've gone up to 14 and a half volts AC just by coming into contact with the shaft and that has a, a live cable running all the way through it so these are, you have to be very careful with your environment particularly regarding electricity because these voltage effects are everywhere and you can see that even in free air the probe is actually reacting to the higher voltage field in this area so even in free air we just touch the probe to the shaft we get 800 millivolts so it's a very interesting effect this uh, voltage field effect and it's very well documented in the dairy industry and it's called stray voltage and if you google stray voltage cows you can find a whole bunch of information that relates to the the voltage on the human body and in particular they have identified that a 2 volt AC uh, wave on the human body long term can actually kill cows so it's, it's a very interesting effect and it's a very interesting effect to research for human health and that's what I'm currently doing, I'm currently trying to develop this field in the human health domain. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.